got a ass now. Look, crazy stalker bitch. Ooh, so we got it. Yeah. Hey, other day she pulled up, jumped out with two BB guns. Talking about she finna spray the house. The day before that, after that, she jumped out again with with two BB guns and try to walk up on Tootie. Nigga finna put up. Last week she came again talking about she we mad and I bought her twenty thousand dollar earrings a month ago. She did some more shit. Now today she come block my driveway off so nobody can't get so nobody can't come through. Talking about she ready to die with her kids in the car. Stalk her ass, bitch. You trying a nigga now? You trying a nigga now? Just block my driveway off tonight. What it do, what it do. It's 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles Jack. Say, man. Um, breaking news. Uh, shocking development. <coughs> Strange goddamn turn of events. Um, I wasn't expecting this shit. Um, but we here now, and I must address it. Uh, Boosie Badass done called the police. Um, I'm going to get my thoughts. But first, it's, it's like this annoying little gnat that keeps flying around. Um, and his name ain't Nat. His, his name is Naughty. Uh, he like that little, he like one of them stank bugs that fly around buzzing and shit. Um, TTE Naughty is from Austin, Texas. Um, he's famous for being BG Selly in the feds. Um, you know, one thing I learned about dudes in the feds, cause when I was in the state, it was a lot of dudes in there that had been federal. Dudes in the feds, everybody act like they was a brick man. Bro, no. It's some motherfuckers that did petty shit that's in the feds, bro. Everybody in the feds ain't the brick man. Everybody in the feds didn't have no loan money, bro. It's a lot of shit you can do to go to the feds. But anyway, um, yeah, um, you famous for being BG selling. Um, you from Austin, Texas. I'm just gonna tell you some real shit. Right now, Austin gangster. Austin Austin only been gangster like ten years now. Austin ain't known for no gangster. Austin is home, it's the capital, it's home of the uh long the Texas Longhorns, it's home of uh Sixth Street and shit. Um Yeah. That's where everybody go to on Sixth Street and all that there. And um uh, no, 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 no. Uh, but it's dangerous now. They do a lot more banging now. But Austin used to be uh, one of the safest cities. You could you could damn near Google that shit. Austin was a family city. It was one of the safest cities you could ever go to, bro. But like I say, everywhere. With this drill music, everywhere dangerous now, though. Everywhere dangerous. But Austin was a good town for good, uh, well-to-do Negroes and shit. Listen, bro, you keep trying to make Austin like it's so goddamn gutter, bro. Uh, like I said, bro, most of the time Austin was gutter. Your ass was in the feds, bro. You keep acting like you brought the violence and brought the gangster shit to uh, Austin. Um, You was BG selling, bro. Uh, We heard you was in there strung out on that goddamn tune. Uh, motherfucker slapped you up because you was nodding off on that tune. Uh, I'm telling you, bro, I know a dope fan when I see one. That's all I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> I know a dope fan when I see one. <laughs> you know, real reason why I'm getting you, because you clout chase so much, bro. You have tried to use every rapper, every uh, YouTube sensation to get your name hot, bro. You done beef with Percy. You done beef with Onan. All these different dudes. Terrence Gangster Williams. You done beef with Charleston White. You are trying so hard to make your name hot through beef. Ever since you got brought your dust at, and when you got out the bro, you been broke ever since. 
you ain't get out the feds with no money, bro. So you wasn't in there making no major money moves, Pepe. And evidently, BG didn't think too much of you because you ain't on tour with him. I ain't seen TTE naughty in now BG video. I ain't seen TTE naughty in now video. Yeah, they say BG said, yeah, he was my silly. They say he vouched for that. <laughs> and maybe you do got his number, but you broke and dusty. BG getting money. BG is an old rapper that's past it, but he still he, he getting views though, and he getting money, <clears throat> and evidently he didn't think enough of you to take you with him. You is not with uh, with BG uh, Naughty. You with that white boy, uh, Pop Austin. Let me tell you something. That white boy is square as shit, and he pimp on you and other black dudes that be there. Bro, I gotta be honest though. Old Pop Austin, he a slick white boy. Um. You get many views. Like, you get views, bro. Yo, cause, cause you animated. I told you, you got that Dauphine uh personality. You know an ex Dauphine, they they be too they be animated. Even after the dope, you can just tell when a motherfucker used to be on dope. They be too hype. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? I can't believe that shit, bro. See me, bro, I don't know, bro, cause see, I ain't like that, bro. Yeah, that's that's ex Dauphine behavior. Yeah, that's when that dope still <laughs> yeah, they flushed all the way out. <laughs> no, no, listen, listen. Uh, Pop Pop Austin is a slick white boy that know to play his position. Uh, his channel has grew. Uh, oh boy, he done grew. He made plenty of money. He get he get plenty of views, and uh, I got to give you uh, one thing I can say. You have helped his uh channel grow with your beef with Charleston and. Terrence Gangster win with all this beef you've caused is done great views. Um you was bragging like you was on and shit like Pop Austin was paying. We found out, bro, your sister exposed you make two hundred dollars a week with Pop Austin. You bringing in a hundreds of thousands of views a week, but you making two hundred dollars a week with old Pop Austin, bro. But you was over there bragging about how much you got you getting big money. We saw the shit with uh Batman Kivo when they when they drew down on you cause you drove down to Alabama with that white boy. And they drew down on you and took your fucking money and you tried to make fame off that. All I'm saying is, bro, you been with that white boy uh, getting all these views, bro, but you broke his shit, bro. Uh Terrence Gangster Williams exposed, bro. You you got caught on camera. Well, about two weeks ago, bro. You were stealing bottles out the liquor store. After you been bragging to everybody, oh, I'm getting big money over here with the white. Yeah, the white boy. I'ma die for this white boy. I'ma die. I remember you saying it to Adam Twenty. You would die for that white boy, and you said you's a house Negro. You said you ain't no field Negro. You said that in uh, on Adam Twenty Two's couch. You said you's a house Negro and you's a proud how you know how to play the game. You want you this new breed that y'all think is just a game and you just trying to win it, even if you gotta suck dick like a bitch. No, this the new breed of you, motherfucker. You you don't see it as being um um uh demasculated or nothing like that. Now you think uh sucking dick long as you winning and getting a bag, you're winning in life. Nah, no, pimp man. Um, but yeah, you was like, oh yeah, I'm a house Negro. I'm a house Negro. I know how to get by. I'm going to do what it takes. I'm going to do it. I, I heard you, bro. I heard what you told Adam 22. I don't know. I don't know if you're trying to get in on this weird shit he got going on with his woman. Maybe you, I don't know. But anyway, um, you've been bragging so much about old Pop Austin and how good he paying you, bro. Uh, when they caught you stealing out that liquor store, bro, now... It, I'm telling you, I'm down on bended knee, bro. You big, you look sad as shit, bro. You look sad as shit, bro. Uh, <laughs> listen, you go back up. You, I, you made one of them Ruben Stubbins. This is my sorry for 2004, and I ain't gonna remember Ruben. I ain't gonna mess up no more. Nah, 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 bro. You apologize to OG per cause he called you out for that fade. Cause oh, uh, I'm I'm gonna quit saying OG. Uh, I'm just gonna say Percy. 
Listen, Percy is a 57-year-old <laughs> crip that still ain't an OG. No, no, no. When I was in the pen, I got to tell you this real quick. No, 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 bro. All the old heads I met wasn't real old heads. I seen a lot of bloods that was damn. I seen bloods that was 60. And didn't have no OG status. Old dope fiend ass game bang. Yeah, the old, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Try to play the OG, but you really a dope fiend with that hat. Anyway, what I'm saying is, um, every OG. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he one of them, one of them OG, one of them OGs that ain't got no rank. So, what I'm saying is this, bro. Um, so, uh, yeah, you beef with Percy. He called you out for a fade. Uh, Percy talked all that shit, but boy, when he got in there with a uh, Carly on, he talked about all them wins in prison, bro. I didn't see no technique. I didn't see no good footwork. You was running. It wasn't no technique to that footwork, bro. You was bouncing and hop. Old person, boy, that shit was funny as shit. That shit was call it on. Talk to all that shit about Ferguson. You, I was whooping. I was knocking out everything. Person ain't got this shit shit from the shoulders. We seen that shit. Person ain't got a bitch ass thing from the shoulders. But at fifty nine, he he still he calls you out for that fade pimping and uh you turned that shit down. And you got to ask him for money and shit. Anyway, uh, you apologize to him. You apologize to Terrence Gangster William. You apologize to Charleston White. You you went on a whole apology. You apologize to your so-called fans for getting caught with some liquor, bro. Stop acting like you feel bad about getting caught with that. No, it's just that you got caught. Had you not got caught stealing liquor out the liquor store, bro? When you saying you you touching big bands and you 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 a six figure <laughs> and all this shit here, bro. Uh, don't, don't, don't get weak now. Don't get weak now. I don't want, and they're going to say, you know, I really ain't doing too good on you. And, and I got a baby on the way and I, but you said you've been making big money with the white boy. And they're going to say, I know I could have called Pop Austin and he would have gave. Well, why didn't you, bro? Why is you broke as shit and can't afford a bottle of crown, bro? This is all I'm saying, bro. White boy pimping on you like a little bitch. And like you said, you was a house Negro. Listen, bro, you said you the speaker for Texas, and then you said you the speaker for the South, bro. Just now, nah, pimping. Um, I ain't even on no Texas shit, bro, but I just don't want to hear a motherfucker like you say you the re representative of Texas, bro. You a, you you like the... Let me quit, bro. You got Dauphine ways. You like the Dauphine that want to make it, but just you don't got sauce, bro. You don't got something with them twists on the top of your shit, bro. And your whole six head is showing, bro. Just cut your hair on down, Pimpin. I'm tired of old motherfuckers trying to wear these young rapper hairstyles. Just getting tired of it, bro. But anyway, you'll dye your shit purple for it. But listen, let me get to Boosie. Boosie. Uh, it's been a long road. Uh, it's been a long time coming in my sound cook voice. Uh, you've been a gangster a long time, Pimpin. Uh, you done said some of the toughest shit we've ever heard. Uh, yeah, I, gr I grew up on Boosie. Uh, yeah, I was heavy on Boosie coming up. We thought that was the most gangster shit ever. Uh, yeah, I had a partner out of Louisiana to put us on Boosie way back in the game. See, that's back when he had that little Boosie love. Lil Boosie, Lil Boosie Love I've been holding down so long Lil Boosie Love You know that computer love But anyway, way back when A little shit like that Way, 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 way back then But anyway, um Now nah, Boosie was one of my favorite rappers coming up And I consider him one of the biggest gangsters Um We all know Boosie got charged with the murders He beat the murders did this little couple years, got out. Perfect gangster story. But you know, it's a lot more to that story that we just never knew. A lot of things they kept under wrap. You know, like Marlo Mike, the little 14 year old that you had living with you, but he was killing motherfuckers for you at 14 years old. Shit like that. Uh, you had your baby mama's brother killed. Um, a lot of shit, bro. And old Marlo went down and took the lick for the whole fall. Yeah, 14, 15 year old kid. Um, 
you know, and you got to be free. That kid whole life gone. But that kid was traumatized before he, you ever met him. Like I said, a lot of OGs, they get these youngsters and they know he fucked up, come from a fucked up home, been beat on, certain shit, just angry young kid. But what you do, you put that pistol in him and let him take out his anger but put it in work for you instead of helping him and showing him love. But now nah, that's what you did. You enabled him. You, you brought out the killer in him and you promoted that. But when it was time to do the time, Marlo Mike did the time for the murders. Still doing it to this day. Doing the time. And uh, you are chill. So it is what it is, bro. Just a lot of stuff that has happened. Uh, you got out still playing gangster. You got out still talk. And I got to be honest. When you got out and dropped that motherfucking uh, Life After Death Row, that's one of your best, best albums. Murder was the case that that yeah that that with that no juice and all that shit there and yeah 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 it got some shit on there yeah that's a badass album that's a badass motherfucking album but anyway you got out with that shit you did your shit uh but you still stayed gangster you've always said fuck the police you even got a song uh, that's very famous and it's called fuck the police you've always said you never talked to. <laughs> You said you don't want to have no conversations with them. Uh, not only did you say you don't want to have conversations with the police, uh, you 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 disowned your best friend, which is Tip uh, Ti. Um, everybody knew he snitched out them years, bro. But you waited till last year, bro, when you were sitting on Vlad couch, cause you always on his couch. Uh, at this point, bro, that's your couch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your couch. Um, but yeah, at this point, Vlad has become your best friend. And you and Tip ain't been the same since. And also, y'all didn't drop that joint album still. But Vlad put you in a corner and was like, yeah, you know, T.I., uh, this and that. You said you stand by these laws. And then Booster was like, hell yeah, he a rat. He a rat. And I ain't doing no music with him and this and that. And then came back like a little broad and apologized. It's a lot that has happened with your boosie. Uh, I, I, let me tell you something. I think what what just gives me the most, what makes me cringe the most, I never forget that phone call you made, bro. And when you told them uh, girls in Atlanta, you got some homies and they want to get their booty ate. Oh, no. I said, oh, no. <laughs> boosie that way Hollywood. It's just a lot of shit. You know... Your image, you try to play a gangster, but you damn near pro-black, too. You gangster, but you pro-black. You say you finna build a whole black city. You always talk black shit, but you, you still play gangster. Your son want to be a gangster. Little Tootie Raw. Yeah, Tootie Raw. He, that motherfucker say he making 1700 a day in Baton Rouge in the trap house. I just don't get it. Um, then you was calling him, trying to bring him back. To Atlanta, telling them you don't want them in the trap house in Baton Rouge, and you worried about them. Yeah, look, two that grew up in mansions, but trying to trap in Baton Rouge, bro. Just, uh, I just, I just don't respect you. I just can't find no respect within me to give to you. I think you're a terrible father. I think you're a poor representation for younger black men, and you misled a lot of brothers, including myself. Um, nah, 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 nah. When I was on that gangster shit, I thought it wasn't nothing more gangster than boosting. I thought it was nothing more gangster than Boosie. And my, I always thought that. <clears throat> Way bit too, though. But, um. You called the laws, bro. You called the law. And for you motherfuckers come in this. Oh, man. It, he, man, that girl, man, was tripping. Yeah, when you got a crazy bro, this tripping hell. Yeah, because what you want him to put his hands on the 903? Nah, bro, but you got security. You got certain shit. You could have got her out the way, bro, without physically harming her. You did not have to call the police. Not only did you call the police, bro, you gave a full report. Oh, no. Nah. You said, yeah, and yesterday she came through and done this. And then Thursday at 2 o'clock p.m., you start giving descriptions. It sound like you done did that shit before, bro. You knew way too much about the protocol and <laughs> shit. All I'm saying is I just that just ain't boosted boo we knew. That ain't the goddamn boosted boo we knew. 
Bro, you was bragging about her going to jail. Not only that, bro, I remember years ago, you said I would, when you was on Vlad Couch, you said I, I wouldn't wish a jail or a prison on my worst enemy. I remember that shit. You, let me tell you something, bro. You damn near was the uh, spokesman for no snitching. You, you damn near been the spokesman. Don't talk to the police. Don't talk to them. Don't answer no questions. That is what you have taught your audience. You have led us to believe that you would never have a conversation, let alone call the police. You call the laws, bro. And you had the video on like a little bitch. Now, that's how females do when they call laws on their man. Now, nah, you had the camera on and shit. You were just telling the, bro, you, I, I, I just don't know, bro. Uh, I'm pretty sure you got to tell the police officers about your kids and your family life. You got to talk about the weather and shit. <laughs> Is it going to be a little humid today? All kind of shit. I just, I just don't get it. That's why I'm, I just, I'm totally against this so-called gangster lifestyle. I'm completely against it. Um, you got, um, you got, um, middle-class rich kids that want to grow up and play this gangster culture, bro. Uh, this shit ain't nothing but some, um, it's just some fake shit. It's just some fake shit, but, uh, yeah, you should have kept it real with Marlo Mike. That's who you should have kept it real with. Nah, you should have looked out for the little homie instead of, um, having him do murders for you and now he doing all the time and you ain't had to do shit. But anyway, um, it is what it is, but yeah, TT, you not, that's a dusty motherfucker. That is one dusty dope just keep texas out your mind bro just keep texas out your mind you are a poor representation bro you look dusty and dirty as shit bro i don't give a fuck how many uh pop Austin could buy you a whole new wardrobe bro i just don't know how you just one of them dudes that look dusty as shit bro i, I just don't get it bro. i'm just saying that would look dusted at a bitch, bro. And you just, you just an old dummy. Just a dummy, bro. Just like boo, just a bunch of old fools, bro. That's way worse than these youngsters. That's why I say these youngsters, they they very girly. They do girly shit. Uh, I think most of them are LGBT ish. Uh, but you old motherfuckers ain't too far off. So, like I say, at least the youngsters still got time to change and, and do some shit. Boosie still talk this gangster shit like he's still a gang. It'll be a difference, bro, if you consider yourself a civilian and you don't talk gangster no more. You don't do gangster songs no more. You don't talk nothing about the streets. Boosie still be acting like he in the streets, bro. You you you. It ain't no such thing as halfway crook, bro. So... Anyway, I just had to call it out. This is 903 Boston. I'm your host, Joel J. With that, I'm out.